Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 185. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. I'd be the one to set you free. Born to race fast track. That's the film. That is it. Oh, that's... That's made me so happy that I've worked out what that film was. Because that's a good film. I quite enjoyed that. Stop suggesting that I should turn the bitrate down. Why would I deliberately make my stream quality worse? Oh, look, I can make it worse. Oh my gosh. Shut up. I could be the one to set you free. I could be the one to make you feel that way. I could be the one to set you free. Alright, I'm definitely struggling with the fact that that Bugatti is in front of me. I could be the one to set you free. Why did you break so early? Come on, man. Oh, this is Kino. I wouldn't mind a PC version of Gran Turismo. But I doubt that Gran Turismo will be one of those games that gets a PC port and the only reason is because of the fact that it just doesn't seem A it doesn't seem very portable to PC because it's very heavily based on the PS5 architecture and B because of the fact that Sony wants a couple of games to be exclusive to their platform at least and I think Gran Turismo is going to be one of those especially when the developer has such a positive relationship with Sony PlayStation, I don't think they'd want to ruin one of the few studios that they have and their relationship with it to then port a game to PC and basically remove the amount of control that he has of his studio. Like, the boss of Polyphony is phenomenal. But he runs the show there. And he definitely will not want. If they port it to PC, it opens up a can of worms in terms of hackers, um, anti cheats, all sorts of stuff. And that's a can of worms that they don't have to deal with if they just keep it on the PS5. Like, they're not a huge studio either.
Nice. Very good, very nice. This song is amazing. It's actually in a couple of racing games. Uh, one of them, I can't remember what one of them is, but I know the other one is Grip. Uh, if you guys don't know what Grip is, it's like this weird anti-grav racing battle game. Uh, it's not like a triple A title or anything like that, but it's quite a cool game. And this is part of the soundtrack for that game. Absolutely love Rawlson. He makes some absolutely amazing tunes. Come on.
Oh, that was a dreadful corner. I didn't bother breaking. Probably should have. If anyone can guess what game this song is from, without searching up the song name or googling it, because that defeats the purpose of the game, you get a high five, a virtual high five, because I ain't I ain't travelling anywhere. <laughs> It's from one of my all-time favorite video games. Shine, Take it down, Shine. My guy, it is done. What is done? I can now edit. I don't believe that you've finished an entire video script in less than an hour. You can't have finished it. That blows my mind thinking that you've just sat there, edited together, the review page? What do you mean the review page? Are you making a website now? What? I'm so confused. You've confuzzled my brain. Well, I can't do it now. I'm in a race now. But I will send them to you. I, I went into detail with Forza Motorsport 1. I shafted that game as well. Like, a completely shit on it. I would rather have a dog for a wife. I would rather have a dark fruit than a wife. I would rather have a dark fruit. Rather have a dark fruit. Rather have. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, what the hell was that? Counting all the assholes in the room. One. His name's Alex. Counting all the assholes in the room. Well, I'm definitely not alone. Well, I'm not alone. Nah. Get out the way, dickhead. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? So yeah, if you guys are enjoying the stream, or if you've gotten any useful advice out of me, <coughs> Alex, then uh, feel free to drop a like on the stream, as that helps out with the algorithm. Dump it, dump it, 
I appreciate it, Alex. Thank you for helping me with the YouTube algorithm. I have a business email. Man's is copying me. He's trying to become me. <laughs> to be fair, I wish I had started a business email for my YouTube sooner than when I did. Because I, I started my business email like two years after I created my YouTube channel. And by that point, it was kind of like... Well, now I've got all my emails sent to my main. Like, well, that defeats the purpose. But... At least, because I actually have a separate email for my YouTube account to all of my other, like, accounts. So my main email isn't the same email for my YouTube. Um, and... Uh, what's it called? My business also isn't the same email as my YouTube. So at least I'm somewhat secure, but... Uh, Thank you very much for listening. Speedy Man G. Man will be the m next man. You can't be a better version of me. I've already proved that. Oh shit. I sometimes I have completely blank moments with this track where I forget that there are chicanes. Like it's muscle memory the fact that the chicanes don't exist for me. What would happen if I do? If you become a better version of me, then first of all, why the hell are you playing all these Forza games and why are you copying my idea of playing them all in chronological order? Because that you'd definitely be copying that then. And second of all... Send me some of your followers, please. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. She is not who I am. At least that's what I thought. Now I'm second guessing. Tit. Yeah, remember. Who's spamming the hearts? <laughs> I can see the hearts in the corner. I can now see hundreds. Mm 
Yeah, remember it all. Yo, Marv, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day, man. I am. I'm having a great stream. It's awesome. I'm actually really loving streaming on YouTube compared to, like, Twitch and Kick and whatnot. Like, it's actually quite fun. Not who I am. At least that's what I thought. It's a much more enjoyable platform to be on. That's good to hear, Marv. Good to hear. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Honestly, New York Circuit is fucking phenomenal. It's such a nice track. No drama with Twitch. What do you mean, no drama with Twitch? Is that sarcasm, Alex, I detect? Because, uh, yeah, it's definitely not true. <laughs> Twitch is just full of so much crap now at the moment. It's just not fun. But yeah, my new capture card's here, Marv. And my new motherboard. It's all installed after an absolute nightmare last night. Oh, that was not fun. But everything is working. Um, oh, you mean I don't have to deal with... Yeah. I mean, I don't. Twitch probably has a load of money on mine, though. But... I don't know. Boop. Holy crap. Yeah. Upgraded a couple of parts. I got a slightly faster SSD. But that's only for editing, so it doesn't get used for games. Basically, I take all my footage. I transfer it to the SSD and then I start editing. Oh, it, it was addicting when I installed my first hard. So the eight terabyte hard drive that's in my PC, I installed myself. I, I absolutely bodged it, right? It was a terrible job. I've got these horrible plastic mounts that don't work. Uh, they fell apart. I tried using like glue it's supposed to be the super glue that was supposed to be able to stick like plastic and metal and everything. And it didn't work. So there's just a mess of glue and plastic mounts and everything. But the hard drives are in there. And it was it was so fun to just tinker around, mess around with it and actually just crack on and and add something to my PC. And then the second upgrade I did was um, swapping out my cooler from the stock cooler to um, a water cooled like AIO thing. And then my third upgrade is swapping out the motherboard. So it was very, very addictive. But uh, yeah, the, um, the SSDs, I mean, I'm probably not going to notice too much of a difference, to be honest. Because the SSD that I had before was pretty quick. Um, but it is just sort of an extra one. Um, but yeah, I transfer all my files onto the SSD. And then I edit it straight off the SSD because I can't... What I'm recording right now is so high quality... Uh, I can't edit with that footage. Like, I'm pretty much just a raw recording at this point. Like, everything is just raw recording. It's insanely high quality, but insanely high um, bandwidth. Not bandwidth. Yeah, bit rate. So, I'm at 50,000 kilobits when I'm recording. That's probably going to go to 100 now that I've got a higher quality capture card. It'll probably go up to 100. Because why not? But yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan with how the content's looking at the moment. I, I did some comparisons to like 
my old capture card and this one, and it's it's not a huge difference that like a regular viewer would notice. A regular viewer wouldn't care too much, but for me, I notice the difference, and I'm I'm proud of the difference. I, I love improving bits and pieces here and there with my content, whether it be improving a little bit on my overlay or improving the sound alerts or adding better audio quality or all sorts, adding better something. And whenever I do that, it's a good day. And I love it. I, it's addicting. Fall on your face. Oh, hold back. I am also... Oh, yeah, and Alex's brain dead moments as well. If I have an Alex moment, then, yeah, that, uh, that slows everything down as well. World. The time has come to... World. The time has come to... World. The time has come to... Galvanize. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, if I do 200k bitrate, I might start struggling with the uh, bandwidth of the hard drives. No, it should be fine, because k bitrate is bits, not bytes. It's not like a byte rate. So I should be able to go up to like 500,000 before I start seeing issues. So yeah, that should still be fine. Run. The time has come to push to the button. I need more RAM as well in my PC. Because, um... Yeah, I think I need another 16 gigs just to help out. My finger is on the button. My finger is on the button. Push the button. Come on, chop chop. Let's go, go, go. Galvanize. Come on, move out of the way. Bonk. Right, so I've overtaken. I don't care how I've done it. I've done it. It does feel weird, though. There's n nothing on top of my desk. It's basically cleared out a load of wires that used to be on top of my desk. Because I used to have a HDMI cable coming from my console onto my desk into the capture card. And then from the desk, basically just looping around on top of the desk into my monitor because obviously there's no point putting it back down to bring it back so I just tied it up so there's a load of cable back there and then another cable to power the capture card that all doesn't exist anymore because A the cable goes underneath to where the PC is straight from the console all I need is a proper desk to get my HDMI matrix set up I still can't believe I spent almost 400 pounds on that matrix to not use it i spent so much money on a hdmi matrix and i don't use it push the button but at least when i move into like a more permanent place maybe i might get a tv and whatnot I'll then actually get use out of the Matrix. The HDMI Matrix at some point. Because that thing is phenomenal. In terms of, like, tech... Like, as a techie guy, the Matrix is the most exciting. The HDMI Matrix. Not the actual Matrix. But that, that bit of kit is so good. So cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bum, bum, bum. 
Oh, it's three laps around here. Damn. Whoa. By the way, I think for the next month, I'm going to do something interesting. So every time we hit 100 views on the little counter, because I've got a little counter in the corner that I can see. Every time we hit 100, um, I'll start it for August. So from the start of August till the end of August. Um, so that way I've got a month period. Month period? No. Ooh, don't kill me. No. Uh, uh. Um, yeah, so for the one month, if we hit, for every 100 views that we hit, and it has to be in a single stream, it can't just be like, oh, there's 50 in that stream, 50 in that stream. As soon as we hit 100, I'll gift a channel membership to people in the chat. But obviously, I can tell when it's like a genuine viewership, and when it's not, because I check. And you can see because there's also another thing that says concurrent viewers so if that doesn't go up when the views go up you know it's not a real view um, so obviously you can tell I think every time I do that I think it's a good way to sort of incentivize people sharing the stream it'll be like a gift sub so it'll be like a month it would just be similar to like gifting a sub on twitch but it's for a month. But the only diff difference is uh, I can't actually choose who I gifted to. Um, because the way that YouTube gifting works, it will only let you gift to random people. So you can just gift to the channel and then it gives it to somebody that's in the chat. So... By the way, Alex, when you join in as a channel member, hmm? Oi! Get off my ass! Stupid baguette. Get back, you knob cheese. Well, you're clapped already, if that counts. Um, but if you if you want, I'll give you a clap after this race. I'll clap my hands at the end of this race, and then you can do it. How's that sound? Move, you pig! Jesus Christ, that baguette's fat. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. But there are lots of uh, different perks that you can get from joining as a channel member, so. Yes, this Might have to turn that fan on in a minute. Let's get onto the straight and I'll turn it on. Wow. 
Oh, what the fuck? Dickhead. Yeah, you crash. See how you like it. Asshole. Yeah, you ain't getting past. Right. Whoa. Wait a bit You've got mail. Bum 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 Okay, so the Bugatti's overtaken me. Get out the way! Yeah, that's what I thought. You won't dare to overtake me. You pillock. Get your ass back. Time for you to go back about 15 and a half miles. Go back that way. Never come back. Oh, this is a tune. This is the chemist. If you haven't heard of the chemists, you're weird. Far away from me, I lose no hope, so I still want to set you free. Climb so high, now you can finally see what we have now. It's torn apart at the seams. What I spoke last, you see me shutting the door on my dark past. So the question is, and it's a very important question, do I stream? The Crew 3. Wow, the Crew Motorfest. Because I'm, I'm going to be playing the closed beta. 100%. But do I stream it? Because I think I might do like a short two hour stream on Friday. Play a little bit of it, see what it's like. Torn apart the seams. It's torn apart the seams. It's torn apart the seams. Laughs. Beep beep, motherfucker. The truth ain't hard to find inside your mind. I will be honest, if the crew motorfest doesn't run at 60 FPS on the PS5. Disappointment inbound. I mean, to be fair, I don't think that game should be running on old gen consoles. So, if it's available on old gen, then I'll be disappointed again. Because developers need to stop focusing on the older generation of systems now. We're at a point it doesn't matter. 
fuck the Xbox One, fuck the Xbox 360, fuck all the old consoles. No one cares about them. It's all about, obviously, like, we care about them in terms of retro games, but we, d we don't expect people to make, when they make a game, Oh yeah, it's got... What about the 360, though? Why aren't you making a 360 version? Because it's old. Well, newsflash. I crashed. Uh, newsflash. So is the Xbox One and the PS4. They're both old systems now, and unfortunately, we should start making games for them. So... Do 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 do. Bum 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 bum. Really happens. Do 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 I'm gonna use my teeth and my claws Never stay to happen. Oh! Ooh. Jeez, that was close. So some of these S-Class cars are really terrible at taking corners because a lot of the other tracks have had a lot less corners than this and they we've not been close to lapping them. We're three laps in and we're almost about to lap some of the back markers. So clearly there is an issue with those cars and corners. Yo, I fly helos. What's up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. It's a pretty good tune. Good old block party. <laughs> oh, okay. We've got to be a little more cautious going through there. Is this like arcade or sim? Uh, so this is like an uh, this is a very specific genre of game called simcade. Um, when it comes to like racing games, there's normally like a scale where you can go from arcade to simulation. Yeah, there is a little bit of damage, but. Um, yeah, this is like a simcade, so it's. It's got some simulation aspects to it, but it's very much rooted in a, an arcade scenario. Um, a lot of people who are sim racers will just say, oh no, it's an arcade game. Because anything that isn't true simulation to them is arcade. This is technically a simcade because it has some realistic aspects when it comes to um, car performance, but it's 
It's like if you had a dial and you set it like a set of Corsa is 10 out of 10 and Need for Speed is 1 out of 10. This is about a 4 out of 10. So um, it's quite a fun game. Definitely very enjoyable. But uh, we are coming to the very end of it as well. Um, this is the second to last episode. Wow. Second to last live stream, sorry. Not the second to last episode. There's still probably about 10 more videos if you're watching this as a video. If you're watching this now, it's technically live, so. Um, but yeah. Next live stream is Motorsport 3 again. And that will be the last Motorsport 3 live stream. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll have finished it. And then I can say I've 100% in Motorsport 3, which... I've been wanting to say for a while, to be perfectly honest. But it's pretty cool to eventually be able to say that. Just stumbled on it random, but you're driving well. Oh, I appreciate it. Most of the time I'm not driving well, but... For this race, I'm actually doing all right, so. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying the stream, if you're watching on the live stream, feel free to drop a like, because it really does help the uh, YouTube algorithm. Drop a subscribe if you're new here. Um... If you're watching this as a video, it, it, it probably come out. This video will probably come out in about two, three weeks. Again, feel free to drop a like as it helps support. Every bit of support's greatly appreciated. Yeah, this this game is a lot of fun actually. Um, it's quite a retro game though now, but <laughs> I don't know what the definition. Yeah, I'm a sellout. That's the whole point of YouTube. Well done, Alex. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if anyone... Chat, what would you just define a retro game? Because in my opinion, anything more than 10 years old has always been classed as somewhat retro. I don't know. Any Anything that's 10 years old, older has been pretty much classed as... Or maybe 10 years and older is classic, and then 20 years and older is retro. I mean, even when, like, Doom came out. Oh, I don't know. Maybe 10 or 20. I want to say 10 years. I think 20 is a bit much. But then we could say 20. 20 is retro? I don't know. That's a debate for the internet. For the interwebs. Oh my god. That's such a boomer phrase. <laughs> I'll probably say 20 then. But what would 10 plus be? Classic? Like anything 10 years and above is like a classic. And then... 20 years and above is like retro. Yeah. Maybe. No. I don't know. There definitely needs to be some judgment on that. I'd definitely say this game's a classic, though. <laughs> okay, as you like the game, you like the game. That's pretty much the most important bit when it comes to games nowadays. I, I will admit that's the one thing that does bug me with a lot of people that buy games nowadays. They'll, they'll buy a video game, like, say for example EA and Ubisoft. I'm not a fan of EA, I'm not a fan of Ubisoft with their practices, but a lot of people will religiously shit on their games just because of the fact that they're made by Ubisoft or made by EA. But the problem is, like, I, I, recently I've bought F1 23, really fun game, really, really fun, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. A lot of people aren't enjoying it as much as I am. But they're 
a lot of people are also religiously just shitting on the game because it's made by EA. And I'm like, why? If you don't enjoy the game, don't enjoy the game. It's not, you know, I'm enjoying it. And I'm very happy with my F123, so. <laughs> but uh, F123 is actually quite a good game this time around. Get, get, get low when the whistle blows. Traction control. It's doing its work. Is that the Bugatti behind? Oh, it is the Bugatti as well. I've got to pick up a little bit of pace. No, no. Another great example, right, of a game that a lot of people hate. Assassin's Creed, they hate all the new ones because they're not like the old ones, but if realistically speaking, I've played Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, it's an okay game. I think it's alright. I've played Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I thought that was my favourite game until I played Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And then Valhalla was my favourite game. I such a fun game. I don't like Ubisoft, but I enjoy those three games. But some people would just hate a Ubisoft, so. Are they AI, the opponents? Uh, the opponents are AI. Um, but I, th I think they're more just A, uh, to be honest. Because there's no intelligence behind them. They're just artificial. So... They're just A. <laughs> uh, I heard Valhalla was good. Yeah, Valhalla was pretty good, to be honest. Um, it's just a problem. A lot of people don't like games that are too long. But then a lot of people like games to be longer than what they are. Um, I, I think if you don't like super long games, Valhalla's not the game for you. Because I'm a hundred and... 110 hours in, I'm not even finished. I've still got a load of stuff to do in the base game. I've finished one of the DLCs, but I haven't even 100%ed it. The second DLC is almost finished, and the third one's halfway through. There's so much content in Valhalla, it's unreal. Also, that's the end of that championship, I believe. I didn't. E it didn't even click until just then. That's the end of the championship, we've done it. So that's S-Class. We've only got three more championships left to go. I'm so excited. So excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.